Hello everyone, uh, I'm Bing Xue Du, a PhD candidate from School of Life Sciences, Northwestern Polytechnic University. Uh, today, I'm so glad to share our latest research on a novel multitasker graph learning framework for ADMET prediction in the by data theory and Maxima flow. Uh, firstly, please let me talk about the background. Uh, bringing a new drug to the market is a complex undertaking. It involves multiple stages from the initial target identification until the drug approval. This process may take 10 to 20 years, uh, cost billions of dollars, and with high failure rate. Obviously, we cannot wait for 10 years. One of the painful events in such a costly process is the failure of drug candidates at clinical trials. <coughs> It is mainly caused by pharma uh, undesirable pharmacokinetics, our, <coughs> our unacceptable toxicities. Uh, PK and toxicity can be also summarized by ADMET. So what is the ADMET process? Uh, oral administration is one of the common routes for drug delivery. Firstly, the drug will be absorbed from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. Then it enters the systemic circulation and becomes available for distribution throughout the body. Some drugs may accumulate in certain tissues, leading to higher concentration <coughs> at target site and uh, increasing their therapeutic effects. After that, most drugs undergo metabolism and uh, excretion to facilitate their elimination through the liver <coughs> and the kidneys. Uh, they can also cause toxicity in most uh, stages. The whole process is absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and uh, toxicity. Uh, in order to evaluate the complex ADMET process, several quantitative endpoints are adopted to assess each stage. For example, human intestinal absorption is an important uh, endpoint that uh, represents the uh, uh, extent uh, to <coughs> which a drug is absorbed. However, it is a complex process, and uh, traditional wet lab-based um, ADMT studies are often time-consuming and expensive, uh, which can limit uh, the availability of in vivo data. Uh, to address this issue, researchers are working. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Thank you. So sorry. To address this issue, researchers are working on improving the predictive power of computational methods, uh, especially AI-based methods, uh, which are promising a rapid and low-risk manner to predict the ADMET endpoints of drug-like molecules before animal tests. And it can infer unknown properties for newly given compounds accurately. Uh, let's go to the second part, AI-based ADMET modeling. Uh, in order to model the ADMT endpoint data and predict their properties, researchers have re traditionally relied on single task learning methods. In single task learning, a separate model is developed for each specific task, uh, such as predicting HIA half-life hour clearance. This one model, one task uh, uh, paradigm focuses on specific task and uh, makes the prediction uh, simple and efficient. Meanwhile, it is easier for tuning. However, it is costly to acquire multiple in vivo molecular properties and uh, insufficient labels uh, would cause poor prediction. To alleviate these problems, pre-training, fine-tuning, and multitask learning are utilized uh, to improve the predictions. They are all belongs to transfer learning uh, Pre-training uh, needs a month of data. Here we only have limited data for each endpoint. So the utilization of potential relationships uh, and uh, shared information uh, between different uh, ADMT endpoints are important, uh, which can be also uh, achieved by multitask learning. 
and multitask learning solves multiple tasks at the same time. And the underlying knowledge can be transferred and the information of different ADMT endpoints can be shared. It also faces a challenge such as the task uh, interference that can reduce performance, uh, difficulty in selecting the appropriate tasks to combine. Uh, it will cause negative transfer when tasks are not closely related, causing reduced perform performance uh, compared to single task learning. Therefore, it is necessary to assess the relationships between the trained tasks and uh, select uh, appropriate auxiliaries for a specific task. Uh, in practical application, we hope to focus on each endpoint and improve their performances. So we proposed a novel multitask learning, uh, which is one primary multiple auxiliaries. For the auxiliary tasks, if they are highly relevant to the primary task, uh, they may enhance the performance of the primary task. So how to select the appropriate auxiliary tasks and uh, why a compound attends a specific ADMT endpoint are ongoing things. Uh, firstly, how to select uh, appropriate uh, auxiliary tasks for a specific task. We hold the idea of the associations between tasks may help select uh, auxiliary endpoints. For example, CYP450 enzymes are proteins that uh, uh, participate in the metabolism of compounds. Their inhibition can increase the plasma concentration, uh, reduce clearance, and prolong the half-life of drugs. And therefore, we can solve the, this problem by constructing the ADMT association networks and build a primary center task pool. Uh, secondly, uh, while a compound attains a specific endpoint, we believe that different endpoints have their own key functional groups. Uh, for instance, the endpoint HIA is usually related to the hydrophilicity functional group, and the excretion endpoint clearance is related to lipophilicity functional group. Our solution is the attention mechanism, uh, which could capture key substructure, uh, can provide insights into the underlying mechanism for the ADMT endpoints. Uh, based on these observations, we proposed our method, uh, status theory, and maximum flow driven MTGR ADMT. Uh, our model consists of two stages. One is auxiliary task selection. It contains three steps, and we hope to find the best uh, auxiliary combinations for the primary task. Uh, where another is a multitask graph learning model for both a primary task and uh, uh, its selected auxiliaries. Uh, in stage one, the first step, task association network construction, uh, we all aim to assess the extent to which one task can affect the performance uh, of another task. We measure the differences between the individual single task performance of ADMT tasks and their corresponding uh, pairwise uh, task performance. For instance, to evaluate the influence of task TW on task TK, we calculate the difference between the dual task performance of TK and the single task performance of TK. If the result of subtracting uh, the single task performance uh, from the dual task performance is greater than zero, this, this suggests that uh, task TW uh, positively contributes to the performance of task TK. Uh, conversely, it indicates that T task TW has a negative impact on the performance of task TK. These outcomes are considered inter-task associations. Finally, we obtain a bi-directed and signed network that represents the relationships between the uh, various ADMT tasks. After that, we attempt to construct the primary task specific pools that include their auxiliary tasks. Our goal is to identify the optimal combinations of these endpoints, which may consist of zero, one, two, or more auxiliary tasks. For, for each uh, primary task, 
Uh, we select the top five positive auxiliary tasks in the pool, ensuring that we focus on the tasks that have the most beneficial impact on the primary task's performance. Here, we took two auxiliary tasks as an example. Inspired by status theory in social network, we perform a preliminary selection of auxiliaries for each task. The status theory needs to satisfy the acyclic, and we converted the bi-directed network to the mono-directed association. We also hope the primary task has a higher status than the auxiliary endpoint tasks. After that, for more auxiliary tasks, a sub-network should satisfy status theory. However, it is just as the qualitative analysis and many combinations can satisfy the status theory. After that, another difficult question is how to choose the optimal combinations. Uh, therefore, we hope to refine the auxiliary selection and future carry out the quantitative analysis. We hope the impact of a combination of auxiliary tasks is greater than the impact uh, of an individual task. Inspired by maximum flow, we calculated the maximum flux for the triad based on the fault focus method, uh, where primary task is a sync node, uh, one of its auxiliaries is source node, and uh, another is the intermediate node. Uh, we directly regard model directed associations as a flux between two tasks. For example, TK is a sync node, TZ is a south node, uh, and TW is an intermediate node. We can calculate the result by the flux of H2 uh, plus the uh, minimize the uh, flux of H1 and 3. For more auxiliaries, we can also calculate their maximum flux. Then we got multiple combinations uh, from a descending order and select the optimal combination selection for each specific task. After obtaining the optimal combinations, the second stage is to construct a multitask graph learning model, uh, which contains uh, four components, including a task shared uh, autumn embedding module, uh, a molecular embedding module, a primary task centered gating network, and uh, a multitask predictor. By adopting two layer residual GCN, the task shared autumn embedding module learns autumn embedding representation by aggregating uh, neighboring autumn features on molecular graphs, uh, which are sh shared by both the primary task and uh, its auxiliaries. The task specific molecular embedding module uses parallel attention layers to learn task specific molecular representations. The primary task centered gating module learns how each auxiliary task contributes to the primary task and how these contributions are combined by a set of gating networks. Okay, let's proceed to the experiments. Uh, here we built a data set covering 24 endpoints, 18 for classification and 6 for regression from 8 publications. Uh, besides ADMT data, we also uh, selected uh, ADMT-related phys physical chemical properties. We selected over uh, 40,000 drug-like compounds, and the compound may have one or more endpoint labels. Uh, we assessed our model by comparing with five state-of-the-art uh, uh, methods, including two single-task learning and uh, three multi-task learning. Then used uh, ten independent uh, experiments for all the methods. We can see our method achieves the best performance on average with significant improvements uh, over these methods. It also wins the best uh, over uh, 20 tasks and the second best over the remaining four tasks. Uh, we calculated the proposed selection uh, strategy by the comparison with three selection uh, strategies, including an individual task strategy, uh, randomly selected five auxiliaries, and uh, at most uh, top five uh, positive auxiliary strategies. Our selection strategy achieves the best performance uh, specifically, our selection strategy remarkably improves the prediction onto classification tasks. 
uh, habitual toxicity and uh, cardio cardio toxicity uh, surgery. Uh, meanwhile, it is better to know why our task selection strategy is effective. Uh, therefore, we tested the ADMT endpoints and their corresponding uh, best auxiliary combinations. We calculated the spherical correlation between maximal flux and the incremental performance, and we found a significant uh, spherical correlation between them. Uh, therefore, it may be a good indicator to select uh, uh, appropriate auxiliary tasks for a specific task. We also evaluated the importance of each component in multitask graph learning model. The parallel attention block, uh, the gating network, play uh, indispensable roles in predicting multitask ADMT endpoints. Uh, although deep learning is known as a black box model, it is essential to understand how MTGL ADMT makes a prediction and uh, whether it can get, get lead compound optimization in drug discovery. And our results show that key substructures captured by attention uh, mechanism stays uh, consistent to the functional uh, groups uh, reported by the references. For example, uh, good absorption properties HIA and uh, OB have higher hydrophilicity. Another example, clearance, uh, the results uh, are consistent to the knowledge that compounds having high uh, lipophilicity tend to uh, high clearance. Uh, in summary, uh, we proposed a novel uh, one primary multiple auxiliaries, multitask graph learning methods uh, for drug ADMT prediction. Uh, our method enhanced by stator theory and maximal flow uh, outperformed the traditional single task and multi-task methods. Uh, by the aggregating uh, ways of all terms, the proposed model uh, produced an interpretable manner to indicate crucial compound substructures uh, significantly associated with each ADMT task. We proposed the selection methods of all appropriate auxiliary task, which can be borrowed for other multitask problems, for example, object detection. Okay, in the end, I want to thank my supervisor, Professor Jian Yun Shi, and other uh, contributors, Dr. Uh, Hui Yu, Dr. Xiu Ming Yu, and uh, Yi Xu. We, I would like to thank my uh, <laughs> gratitude to the organizers of uh, RECOM 2023. And my poster number is 110. We can also talk in my poster side. Thanks for listening. And sorry for so nervous. <laughs>